About a year ago, I made a video on how to remove your background without even needing a green screen. In today's video, there's an updated version if you have an NVIDIA GPU from 20 series and above. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you can still go ahead and watch my old video that is linked in top right. Now, without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what you need to do is go to this website that will be linked down in the description below. It's the NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center. If you go right over here, you will see a bunch of different things, but what we're primarily looking for are video effects right here. So if you have the 20 series GP, you're gonna choose this version and then 30, 40, and 50 series right over here. You're simply gonna download the installer, run it, next, 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 and you are set. It's super simple, super easy. While you're here, you might as well download the audio effects and the AR, which will give you some more uh, plugins for your OBS, and it doesn't really hurt to just have them and maybe use them sometimes in the future. So download those, install them, and let me show you how to use it inside OBS. All right, so I have my OBS open up right over here. As you can see, I have my source with my full screen webcam right over here. And if I want to check that it works properly, I just go right click on the source itself, filters, and then you will see the effect filters over here. We want to click on the plus sign. And then if you do that and you see the NVIDIA effects on the side, that means the plugins are installed correctly. Now, if you downloaded only the video effects, you will see the background removal and the background blur. If you downloaded everything else, you will see everything else. Uh, what we're looking for is the background removal. And if we click on that and if we click on OK, it simply works like that's it. It works fine. It removes the background depending on how uh, challenging your background and your lighting are. It will work better or worse, but you can play around with the mode. There's the quality and performance. If you want better quality, choose quality, but it will use more of your GPU resources. So keep that in mind. We also have threshold, which if we move to the left, it will completely remove the effect. If we move it to the right, you will need to find a sweet spot where it doesn't remove too much of your background and too much of your body. And you know, it still looks good. So play around with it, find a threshold that works for you. It will depend on your setup. And then you also have the mask refresh frequency, which I would not recommend you change that at all. Keep that on default one. And that's basically it. Keep in mind that if you are using this plugin, it might be using more of your PC resources. So if you experience lags in games or just your you know, PC struggling, it might be because of this plugin. So try disabling it and see if the performance is better. And that's how you can install this plugin right over here. It requires a few steps. And once you do that, your streams will be more unique and you can play around with it and just have something more innovative for your viewers to stay on the stream and watch you even more. If you did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. And if you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.